Hello there everyone. So today we are going to be going over how I can conceal these babies. <laughs> these are some terrible dark circles and I have a time with it. I don't know about you guys, but that is the worst part of my face to try and work with for makeup. The basic reason is because I have dry under eyes. I have deep wrinkles under there from, from smile lines and you know just expression lines underneath there but i have these inherited dark circles that i've had for my whole entire life and it just really drives me crazy so i have lots of different tutorials on this but i thought i would bring this towards summer so that you guys can see what i do and especially summer with menopause i am having a time going through menopause this year and trying to deal with the sweating that you get but at the same time i'm dry under there normally so how are we going to combat all of that and how are we going to figure all that out so that's what we're going to get into i'm going to get you a little closer so that you can see how bad they are and then we're going to fix them so hopefully this will help you if you're new to my channel please subscribe by clicking the button below don't forget to hit the bell icon and if you've been with me for a while thank you so much for being here and everyone if you would please give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate that too let's get into this little tutorial all right so getting you quite close you can see how sunken my eyes look how dark they are um if i turn this down a little bit my light down just a little bit let me do that so you guys can see look how bad they are holy smokes right okay so not only that look how bad the wrinkles are underneath there and when i smile i get terrible there so i'm going to turn the lights back up so that we can uh, do this tutorial and you'll be able to see everything just fine but obviously the lights do diffuse things a little bit so when you're watching somebody and they have perfect under eyes know that they're not 100 um, percent perfect you guys but what we're going to do is we're going to start by prepping that area in my last concealer video i talked about the catrice under eye primer this is an extremely hydrating primer and it's awesome you guys the only thing i will say about what you should do during the summer is if you have oily sweaty under eyes don't use this at all if you um get really sweaty during the day if you have a ton of creasing in the summertime don't use this at all now if you're like me and you have dryness under there but you do sweat during the day i'm just going to put one dot just one dot on each eye that's all i'm going to do and i'm just going to kind of just run that around with my finger, pat it around with my finger, and then I'm gonna let that sit. So my very first product always has to be a corrector because these are so bad right through here. And there is not any concealer under the sun unless I got a very, very peach orangey concealer that's going to really take care of those. I love this one from LA Girl. This is just their pro concealer, but they're their correctors. They have them in all different colors. If you're like me, you have very fair skin, but you have those pretty nasty, as far as I'm concerned, under eye circles, the peach works great if you're a little deeper than me go on to orange and if you're very deep if you have very dark skin you might even try red if you have really really deep ones because you have to kind of counteract what that color I'm is going to put this on one eye and i'm going to just put this right down in here there's hardly any on that little brush right there and what i'm doing is i'm just kind of spreading it around on there i'm just going to just pat it very very lightly to just get the big chunks moved around a little bit you need to let that set. And the reason that I say this is so important is because if you're doing multiple layers like I do, like I've like, got on moisturizer and then I've got on sunscreen and then I've got on top of that, I've got that little primer from Catrice and then this color corrector and now I'm going to go in with concealer. That's a lot of layers. If you do tiny layers, I mean, and tiny bit of product is what i'm talking about so the minimal amount of product that you can use for each of these layers the better when you're having that creping or that creasing or the or the smile lines or the deep wrinkles or anything like that the minimal amount so we're doing extremely light layers we're going to do my second favorite concealer on this eye which is the elf hydro camo concealer hydrating i don't know if it's hydro or hydrating it's probably hydrating and all i'm going to do is i'm just going to do one dot one dot that's it. So I'm just going to dot around and just spread it around. That's all I'm doing right here is just spreading it around. And I do have a bunch of discoloration on the tops of my cheeks here. So I'm going to take whatever is on my finger and just 
kind of dot that around. I didn't blend this out really well. I'm just kind of waiting for it. While it's sitting there, I would be going on to the other eye and doing the other this eye. This trick I learned from Jackie Ina a couple of years ago. She kind of developed this where you let it set down before you really blend it out well so that you can see that it's going to be a thicker product on there and it's going to really give you better coverage that way so i'm just going to take my finger again i like to use my finger because i find that it really does a great job as far as warming up the product and then melting it with my other skin so that's really what we're doing. Okay, so that really does a really good job of it, you guys. That was very easy. What this particular concealer is, it's hydrating enough that it's not going to pose a problem later, that you're going to still have that hydration on your eye, but it's not so emollient and you haven't put so many products on there that you're gonna get that deep creasing. Now, what I wanna do and what I wanna show you is that I will put just a tiny bit more right here on the line that is that dark cavern. And all I'm gonna do is just spread that out one more time. And it's going to still bring a lot of lightness there. And it's gonna just blur everything out to where there's not anything there. This is where it gets the trickiest because you need to set that down so that it doesn't go into your creases, but also using too much powder is gonna cause that drying effect and you're gonna look really crepey and really dry and cakey under there. So. Take a dampened beauty blender. This is the one I used for my foundation this morning. And I'm gonna take my Sydney Grace powder that I introduced you guys to earlier. I'm gonna take what's in the lid and I'm just going to one time, that's all I did. And then what's on there, I'm gonna flick this. And the you guys probably can't see that, but a lot of that is coming off. And I'm gonna flick that a whole bunch so that I don't get very much powder on my under eyes. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to barely touch this. I am using such a light touch. There's no pressing here because I don't want very much powder on there. So I'm going to press that down. And again, I shake, sorry you guys. And I'm just pressing it two, maybe three times on there. I can feel the hydration from the sponge, but I can also tell that that powder is right there. Powdered on this side, take the other side, spray that with either a hydrating setting spray or if you want to have it set down all the way maybe you live in a really muggy climate maybe you need more setting just use a regular setting spray something like urban decays all nighter or flower beauty's regular seal the deal setting spray um elf has a really good setting spray and again i'm just going to touch this under eye area and that really is it you guys that's what i do i don't do much more than so that i don't have any cheek products on here except for a little bit of contour and i'm going to go ahead and put some of that on right now so you can um, see how different these two sides are gonna be with just a little bit of sprucing up, as it were. And I'm gonna go into this Morphe. This is their, this is a Morphe blush palette. This is their cool palette. You can buy this at Ulta. I'm just gonna dab it across my cheeks, bring this cheek to life a little bit. Really the whole effect of your under eyes, this whole area of the cheek and the under eyes is really kind of an illusion of light and dark because you get this too light, it's gonna look weird. <laughs> so make sure that you don't pick uh, a concealer that is any more than maybe one shade lighter than your foundation. I really, actually really try hard to keep mine at one shade lighter. And I'm just I gonna take a fan brush and this is a ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter. This one is called Smoke and Whistles and I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna highlight that cheek a little bit. I am actually completely finishing this eye because I'm gonna take picture for my thumbnail with this. So I'm going in with an Ardell liner. This one is in brown and these are automatic pencils and I love and these. And oh, There's by the way, in the waterline, I do have the Wet n Wild pencil that I talk about a lot on my channel. It is the highlight pencil for brows. So I will make sure I link that if I can find and it. I'm just gonna take um, the Benefit They're Real and do my bottom lashes and I will be right back with you guys. Okay, let's do the other eye. Here is the color corrector again. And again, I'm just spreading it around with that little brush that's on there and then patting it in ever so slightly. This time I'm gonna use my very, very favorite of all time concealer, and this is the Makeup Revolution Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer. This one, you guys, if you use too much, you're gonna hate it. I want you to just know that there is just so very little on my finger. Hopefully you can see that. Now, I'm just going to dot very lightly around and start to spread it. Now this is different than the other one because it's a lot more emollient. I don't have to wait to spread it around. This is a lot thicker. 
um, if you don't like thick um, concealers, you're not going to like this one at all. If you've ever tried the It Bye Bye Under Eye, that's exactly what this is. And it has that same consistency. But you guys, there is nothing like this <laughs> that will cover my nasty dark circles than this. Um, now, I will say that if you were to just stop there and not use any spray on your sponge or any powder on your sponge, you would get a lot of creasing throughout the day. But very quickly, you're going to see that even this kind of overshadows how bright this is compared to this one and how good it covered. So what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly what we did on the other eye. We're going to take that sponge and we're going to take the powder, putting just a little bit of powder on it, and then we're going to flick it off so that there is some on there, but not but nearly as much as there was when I, you know, first picked up the powder. And then I'm just going to go in lightly press it across there i'm going to take my spray again on the other side just douse that and i'm going to go in and just pat it across there i like to look up when i do this because it seems to help a lot with the creasing and whatnot now while that's drying you don't want to engage in any laughter or anything like that you're going to want to just let that just dry and let it set down because if you smile or anything like that, you're going to get the creasing in here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to do exactly what I did on this eye to finish. Okay, my friends, there we go. That is the completed look. This will last me all day long. Now, experiment a little bit with whether or not you're going to need a little bit more powder. Don't go overboard with the powder, especially on this eye that had the really thick formula for the concealer on it. If you do, you're going to get a cakey look at the end of the day. But if you try to use the powder and you still don't like how it looks even with the setting spray afterwards, try just using the setting spray on, on the sponge. Now there is a video going around and I've been talk, told about it. Um, the, the gal was on TikTok and she actually did this video and she was a makeup artist and she did the whole thing where she just tapped her eye under eyes with some setting spray on her finger for a while and that's how she set hers, which it looks beautiful on her. Now, personally, I have to have a little bit of powder on mine only because I need that little bit of setting with my menopause sweating that I'm getting so much. Now, that being said, you may only like powder, you may only like setting spray. Remember that makeup has to be trial and error for you personally. It's not a one size fits all. These are all tips and tricks and things that we can do and share with you guys. But at the same time, at the end of the day, it is your face, it is your under eyes, it is up to what you like. So maybe take a few of these steps that I've talked about today and incorporate it for yourself and maybe take away some of them and just kind of experiment until you find what you like but the setting spray on the sponge is really the trick to mature eyes because I feel like it really does the job of setting it down without having that harsh look that powder can give it's a beautiful blurring look, but halfway through the day, I'm gonna look like the Crypt Keeper with my eyes being so crinkly underneath and look like I'm half dead. So I hope that you did enjoy this tutorial today. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know if there's any tips or tricks that you guys do to your under eyes to make them look better. But this is how I do it and I hope that it does help some of you out there. And you guys all have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Please stay hydrated, stay safe, stay sanitized. And I will catch you all in my next video. Love you. Bye-bye.